referee looks at his watch. Any second now. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Hello, welcome back to Want My Bet TV. I'm Tom. I'm Ollie. And today we're talking Premier League. Yes. But, little thing to mention, we're filming this on Thursday, so before the FA Cup games. And the Carabao Cup. And the Carabao Cup, so we don't know the results of those. Hopefully United won, but yeah. Yeah, so <laughs> I'll be way, <laughs> I'll be pissed off if United have won. And I'll be pissed off if Tottenham got to a cup yeah. final as well. I think, so. well, I think both will happen. Yeah, well, it could be a shit weekend. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, but yeah, we're here, um, Premier League, uh, the midweek games. Uh, we do the research so you guys don't have to. Um, yeah, that's it. Name of the game, win you guys some money. Pick and choose the yeah. ones you like. Don't start yabbering on in the comments about, oh, you never show us your bet slips. We're not betting on every single one. We're not We're not wedged. No. We just can't bet on everyone. We're, we're just doing the research. And yeah, we do bet on some of them and we put them in a treble and stuff like that. But we're not, you know, you don't have a go at us and don't yeah. ask to see proof. Like, pick and choose the ones. You might be like, oh, they've said... Arsenal win, I mean, based on the stats you've just said, I reckon it'll be a draw. So listen to what we say, make your own mind up, but you can listen to our tips as well. Exactly, and you should have listened to my tips last week. You're very well. I absolutely smashed it. So I gave you six tips on three games, two tips on each game. Mm. All of them came in. It was my best week ever. Two correct scores as well. And the only one I got wrong was Liverpool versus Palace, and I said it, that Palace would score. Yeah. And they did. And I said 3-1 Liverpool. You did say Liverpool to win both teams to score. I did as well. Oh, okay. So, all of my tips. So, hopefully I, more of the same. I was adamant Fulham double chances. Oh, when they happened as well. You were so close. 30 seconds away yeah, from that. I couldn't well. believe it. But, good luck to anyway, you bet you had on that anyway. one. Anyway. Okay. So, Tuesday on. night games. First one is Arsenal versus Cardiff. Yes. 7.45 and 8pm. Uh, 8 so, this one's one of mine. So, this is 5th, 44 points versus 18th. On 19 points, mm -hmm. Cardiff. Arsenal beat Chelsea 2 0 in their last game. Good win for Arsenal. Played pretty well as well, to be fair to them. Um, only Wolves, Liverpool, and Man City have left the Emirates with points. Good little stat. The Wolves have left every, every top Yeah, six all, they love the big teams. They absolutely thrive off it. Um, Arsenal have won nine of their 12 home games, so you got fancy Arsenal yeah, here against yeah. Cardiff. Um, half time, full time has come in for Arsenal in the last three games. Even so, though before they're the draw specialists. Exactly. Half -time. They hadn't won or well, hadn't been winning at half time for ages, but they have done for the last three. Mm. Maybe turned a little corner. Um, Cardiff have only won one game away from home all season. That was 1 0 against Leicester. Yeah. And Leicester absolutely battered them that day yeah, and that yeah, killed yeah. Araka. <laughs> um, they've lost eight of their 11 games, only scored six goals. I mean, even as an Arsenal mm. fan, You've got like yeah, but you can't just. You, the thing is, in these kind of games, there's not much value in just going. Oh no, win. Arsenal win is like one point two. two. It's yeah. no, there's nothing in it. I think so, that's good though. Even though I yeah. hate that market. I know you hate that market, but Arsenal to win to nil is two point one six. I like that. I do like that, especially against Cardiff, um, and kept clean sheet against Chelsea. Mm. Got fancy. Them. I reckon Arsenal half time, Arsenal full time is pretty decent. It's come in the last three games. Arsenal seem to be starting games a bit better. Mm. Uh, it's 1.74. I've chucked that in as a cheeky little red one. Explain what it means. Ah, so red one means we've basically looked for them. We think it's likely to happen and it's decent value. So good odds for that potential outcome. Yes, and it's been, it's happened the last three. So That's, I've gone 2 0 Arsenal. All right. Fancy that? Yeah, I fancy that. Okay. I'd, I'd go with Arsenal to nil though, just in case Arsenal got off to a slow start. Yeah, okay. But yeah. Right, next one is uh, Will's one. Yeah. So I'll do this one. So he's got uh, Fulham versus Brighton. Yep, he's boys. Uh, again, that's a that's a bit of a, a dud fixture, I think. Yeah, I don't, that's, like, I don't like that one. That's um, last time match, though. Yeah, uh, so Fulham started to look a bit better recently, although they're still not getting over the finish line. They've looked better, but you couldn't really look worse. It's yeah. one of those, isn't it? They were yeah, terrible. They were unlucky against Burnley and they were unlucky with that Spurs last yeah. minute. Last minute goal. goal and then to lose against Burnley with two own goals. Yeah, yeah I mean, they, they have been, un they have been uh, a bit unlucky. unlucky. Yeah, I agree They're with at that. home this time. Well, yeah. they were last time as well, but I just feel like, you know, they're going to play better at home anyway. Yeah. Um, 
They are still 19th, seven points off safety. Strugs. Do you think they'll... I, I still, up? I've got this weird feeling that Fulham are going to be the... If there's one team that gets out of it, it's going to be Fulham. I hope so, because I do like Fulham. I like Fulham as well. And what I just think, think... I just think there's worse teams than them. Even are, though they're right down there. Are Fulham going to stay up? Get your answers in the comments. Yeah, if not, know. who's going down? Get your answers in the comments. Wow, well, Huddersfield gone, isn't it? Huddersfield gone. Have got, got to, to be a goners, unless... Yeah. What's his name? Mark from Wakefield. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Keeps him up. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, we'll get on to that in a bit. Um, so yeah, Brighton also looked pretty good recently. Yeah, they are they drew, drew with Arsenal and West Ham and beat Everton. They, Brighton are decent. Yeah. They Mainly are a solid better team at, now. At home. Better yeah, much at better at home. Yeah. Um, yeah, definitely. Yeah. They're, they're having a good season. Yeah. Uh, Chris Hewitt's class manager, I think. Um, and obviously narrowly lost to United, I was at the game. They yeah. Had, they had a few chances, even though United did look good. Yeah. They were in the game kind of. When it got, went back to 2-1, two one, one, yeah. Like the last 15 minutes. Yeah, it was nervous. They were just like pummeling us. Yeah. I like, oh, thought we were going to concede. Um, they've scored five in the last six, um, but only won two games away all season. So yeah. the away record is not good. Pretty shonky. So Will's gone with both teams to score. I think I could see that happening. 1.88. Fulham don't keep many, many clean sheets, no. do they? So I could see yeah, that happening. Yeah, that could happen. And uh, he's gone with a draw, so 3.1. I think that's about right. The score prediction, 1-1. One, one. I think that's about right. Yeah. Fair play, Will. Not, not a shabby one. Normally. Normally a rogue <laughs> Normally one. a rogue one. Would have gone like, like, I don't know, Fulham to Ful nil. <laughs> Fulham to nil. Yeah. Fulham to score in both halves. Yeah, horrendous <laughs> rationale to back it up. Uh, uh, right, next. Over to me again. again. Right, Huddersfield versus Everton. Yeah, okay. I personally think there is potential value in this I game. agree with you. And you know how much I love a, uh, a football... You love a little romance, romance story. Romance story. You right. absolutely love it. Also, I'm a big fan of new manager syndrome. Yeah, you are. So as you all know, Huddersfield got a new manager. Yeah. It's not Mark from Wakefield. Not Mark from Wakefield. It's Jan Stewart. 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 I can never see it. Something it looks like, like Stuart, but it's not Stuart. He's a guy from Dortmund, Stuart. isn't he? Stuart. Jan Stuart. Stuart. Something like that. Yeah, he's from Dortmund, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, he's from the Dortmund B um, team or yeah. reserve team yeah. or something. It's meant to be pretty decent. Yeah. Which means, doesn't matter how bad the run up to this game has been, yeah, agreed. players will be playing out their skin to impress him. It's what happens. They're at home, they're playing an Everton, who are horrendous away from home. True. Everton have only won two away games all season. Everton are. Very poor away from and, home. And they're just very erratic at the moment. Well, they well. lost, where did they lose to? Southampton. They lost to they? Southampton and Brighton. And I thought Southampton looked good. Everton looked woeful. Everton have lost four of the last six games. Yeah. Um, yes, I mean, we don't even really need to look at Huddersfield's record. They've yeah. lost nine of the last ten, but that's all previous. Yeah, I, I think the the uh, definitely the first three or four games, yeah. like up to three or four games um, with a new manager, anything can happen. So I do think there's... I wouldn't put it in a knacker, but I'd definitely maybe put some money on it mm. um, on the head. I like both of those. So I've gone with Huddersfield double chance, 1.93. I like it. Not too bad. So I like it. Huddersfield to win or draw could easily be a draw. I, I agree. Double chance for me is a great one. Also, Huddersfield either half is 2.3. Oh, they've got 2.6. Sorry, 2.6. Yeah, all they've got to do is nick a goal. So 1 0 half time and then concede in the second half, 1 all. Fine. Both win. I, I like those. I honestly um, do. I've, I mean, that should probably be red. I just didn't have the kahunas to say it. Huddersfield double chance is red for me. I think Huddersfield either half is really red as well. I'd say double chance well, more because be I could see that. Yeah, I honestly think okay. they could. Right, they're both red then. Yeah, um, like it. Score prediction is one all. One all. Couple I of think. one ones. Okay, then on to Wolves versus West Ham. So this one's tight. It's eighth mm. versus tenth. Only one point separates them. They have the well, uh, and they have the same goal difference. Like yeah. very even team. If Arnautovic it comes on, he's going to get so much. Yeah, stick. so much aggro. <laughs> like oh. um, they've both picked up seventeen points at home. Wolves have just got one extra point away. Mm. So so hard to call this one. It's going to be really mm. tight. I think um, the last two games both finished one nil for Wolves. Um, oh no, both um, finished 1-0 one the last two times yeah. they've met. Wolves won one, yeah. West Ham won the other. Um, Wolves won 4-3 at the weekend. That was a great game. 
Unbelievably great good game. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's some great goals in there as well. Th last weekend in the Prem was class. Yeah. Like, match of the day was so, unbelievable. We said it was going to be a tight week. Yeah. And it was. Yeah. Not hardly yeah. anything to call. It's between quite teams. tight this week as well. Yeah. Uh, Jota bagged a hat trick. Really good hat trick as well. Yeah. Be full of confidence. West Ham have lost their last two away games. So they've picked up a little bit at home. Mm -hmm. Still pretty shabby away from home. Um, yeah. Lost 2 0 to Burnley and Bournemouth. Not good. Uh, Every time I think, I don't know, West Ham are going to do alright here, they just don't turn up. No, I know. They're, like, they're so hard to call, West Ham. They're an erratic team as well. Um, so my tip on this one, I've gone Wolves win. Only based on West Ham's poor away form I'll go in the last couple of games. Do you know what? I actually prefer your other one. The other one, he bagged a hat trick. He's going to be full of confidence. He's going to be full of confidence. He's going to play. He's going to start. Yeah. Jota. Jota, anytime. anytime. 3.1. I think that's great, shout. I think I it's prefer, I'd be more confident in that than a Wolves win because you don't know which which West Ham are going to. And turn West up. Ham don't concede, keep that many clean sheets, so I reckon Wolves will score yeah. definitely. And Jota's the man in form at the moment. Yeah, okay, Jota anytime three point one worth a little dabble. I've gone two one Wolves, but really okay, really hard one to call. Really that hard. one nowhere near an acre if you ask me. Yeah. Okay, on to one of wheels. Uh, it's Man United versus Burnley, so 6th yes. versus 16th. Uh, both teams on the up, really. United flying, oh, yeah. Burnley picked up well, a little bit as well. Imagine if we beat Arsenal as well, going into this. So Eight yeah. games on the bounce. So really. United have won yeah. seven in a row yeah. already. Up until... If the they moment. beat Arsenal at the Emirates yeah. as well, that's huge. Massive. Um, it'll kill me, but <laughs> that is huge. Um, Rashford is an absolute man on fire. Mate, he looks... That, that goal against Brighton was class. That, have, you, have you seen the angle yeah. where it's behind yeah. him? And you're like, he's how has he scored? Top bins. It's ridiculous, guy. Mate, he's I was, just... I was there, wasn't I? Yeah, I was yeah. like, no way. Like, uh, it was a ridiculous just, finish. Uh, the thing is, he just looks like a different player. Yeah. Like, Mourinho was obviously like... Told him to do, do, certain do a things. certain yeah, job. Yeah, yeah. Whereas Solskjaer's just like... free reign to do what you want. Do what you want, mate. You're, Express your class. Express your there was one bit where he slowed it right down and then whipped across him yeah. for Lingard and I was like, he is playing with so much yeah. confidence. Um, so Rashford's flying, got five and six. Um, Look, Pog. Pog's got five and five. And he's on pens. Both in the fantasy team. Um, Giving up on that now. Yeah, yeah I know, you have saw that. <laughs> Burnley, though, have turned a bit of a corner as well. Unbeaten in the last five, winning four of those, mm. but, uh, but only won two away from home this season. So I think... I agree with Chapman on this. The two boys to pick. He chose them last week and both came in. Both came in. Yeah. Uh, Pogba or Rashford win cast. Pogba's 2.4 for a win cast. Decent value. Yeah. Pen taker as well. Yeah. And Rashford, who looks like he can score from anywhere. Yeah. Uh, win I cast 2.2. Rashford, 2. Rashford's, Rashford's good shout. Even just Rashford any time is like yeah. 2, I think. Yeah. Or two, like one, even 1.8 yeah, is still it's like, good. It's, yeah, it's worth it. Um, he's gone 2 2 nil United. Which I agree with. Like it. There you go. Right, next final game of Tuesday is yes. Newcastle versus Man City. Yep, a little late pm -er. So, City are undefeated in 30 of their last 33 away matches. They're class. Very good. <laughs> um, but they have seen, you know, they've not been keeping that many clean sheets. No, they haven't actually. Um, they've, they've seen both teams to score in four of the last five games. Nice. Um, Newcastle um, have scored in three of their last four. Yeah, Newcastle aren't looking too shabby in um, front of goal either. They've won their last match against Cardiff 3-0. Yeah. However, before that, they were winless in five games. Yeah, but I think they would scored in quite a few of those yeah, as they've well, sco well. Yeah, they've scored in a few. Yeah. Um, City have scored at least two goals in six of the last seven games. Yeah. Um, and both teams have occurred in four of the last five league meetings between, between the two. two. So there's normally goals in this fixture. Yes. Um, I see where you're going with this so one. So, obviously there's not much value in a, in a City win. No. Um, never is these days. <laughs> um, so I've gone with Man City to win and both teams to score, which is 2.88. Quite like that. Uh, just City look leaky at the moment. They, like they do look dangerous still, but they, they look vulnerable. A They're always going to score goals. And also Newcastle at home. Yeah. It's always going to be a difficult place yeah. to play, even if they're playing poorly. Um, so, score prediction is 3-1 City. Yeah, I, I like that one. I do like that one. Okay, then on to Wednesday. It's Bournemouth versus Chelsea. Little 7.45-er. 
12th, 30 points for Bournemouth. Mm. Fourth, Chelsea, 47 points. Closed right up at the top now yeah. with Arsenal beating yeah. Chelsea. Great signing, hey, Higuain. Higuain. Wow. <laughs> um, Bournemouth won oh. for the first time in five league games against West Ham, 2 0. Decent little win for them. Uh, Bournemouth have picked up 21 of their 30 points at home. So wow. they're decent at home. I, I like this as well. Only Liverpool, Arsenal, and Man United have won at Dean Court. So, like, it's the big teams that yeah. go there and have done well. Um, four of the last six games have seen over 2.5 goals for Bournemouth yeah. in all comps. So, goals either end in Bournemouth, we say it all the time. Yeah. Um, they've scored 21 and conceded 17 at home. Um, yeah, ridiculous. Are you checking my Dean Yeah, I was, for some reason I was like... Just, I was just thinking, like, what's he Googling there? <laughs> Dean Cole, yeah, it definitely is. Um, so Chelsea have won three of the last four away games though. So although they're not playing very well, they've still been grinding out results bef until before the Arsenal game. Uh, yeah, and also it depends what happens in the Spurs game. Yeah, true. So they we don't, don't know. If they don't qualify for that. Yeah. They're going to be even more of a down. Oh, if yeah, they, if they get thumped by a, a weak Spurs team. Yeah, yeah then gonna... confidence is gone. I mean, but if they win, you never know. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, Chelsea won this fixture 1-0 last year. It's going to be tight, I think. Bournemouth, fairly decent at home. Chelsea, been scratching around for goals, haven't they? Yeah. Um, it's a difficult game to call. Yeah, it's hard. Um, I think that's... Sarri's come out criticising his yeah, players. Yeah, it's never good they can't be motivated. Doing a Mourinho, you can't no. do that. Um, so I think both teams to score, I think, is a good way to go. I mean, that's pretty safe. Pretty much all Bournemouth games are both teams to score. 1.62. But I do like uh, the look of this don't one. Know about that. I really do. Bournemouth double chance against a Chelsea team that are struggling for goals and not playing that well. Mm. And there's unrest in camp. It could be a draw. Bournemouth double chance, 2.23. I've chucked that in as a red one because I think that's good for a home team that have picked up 21 points out of their home mm. games. I've gone one all as well. Okay. So quite a few little one one as we're saying this week. Okay. Um, want me right. to do this one or are you? I can do it. Um, Go for it. Right, so Southampton versus Palace. Oh, another tight one. So, I mean, last weekend and this week, oh, last week's fixtures and yeah. this week's fixtures, very tight games to Yeah, call. hard games to M call. Mainly all of them are pretty yeah. much flip of a coin. Agreed. Um, Agreed. So there's value, but it also means it's a lot harder to call. Uh, so, Southampton are 15th, Palace are 14th. Yeah, not a lot to separate. Both on 22 points. Nothing to separate. <laughs> <laughs> Saints have only lost two of their last seven. So Saints have picked up since the new manager yeah. came in. New manager syndrome. New manager, exactly. Um, Hustle. I don't know his name. No, I can never say it. Um, uh, they lost to West Ham. The only, yeah, the only two they've lost is West Ham and City. Yeah, so uh, they've, they, they've picked up. Southampton are actually <laughs> scoring goals yeah, and mate. actually looking quite good. They drew with Chelsea, beat Arsenal, beat Leicester, beat Everton. Solid run. They're all good teams. Yeah. Um, including the FA Cup, uh, Redmond has scored five goals in that time. He's going in the fantasy team, I think. Is he? Yeah, I like him. Cheapy. Oof. Cheap midfielder, he's good. He's all right, uh, but he's on form. That's the, that's the main yeah, thing. Um, Palace narrowly lost to Watford and Liverpool. Yes. They are playing well, but they're just... Away from home, Palace score goals. They do. So I think, I think the stat last week was he, they'd scored six at home and 16 away. So they've now got 19 away. Yeah, and hadn't Liverpool only conceded three all yes. season and Palace scored three? Three against them. Yeah. And Palace, I'm telling you, on the counter-attack, are very good. Yeah. Very good. Um, so, basically, uh, the safe option here is probably both teams to score. I think the other stat as well is only one game since the new manager has come in for Southampton has not seen both teams to score. Really? Every other game, in all comps, everything, has seen both teams to score. So both teams to score Banker. is 1.79. Banker. That would be going in my acca. 100%. Um, then Will's put uh, Redmond any time. I like that. 3.8. He's got five goals in that time. Yeah. I like that in seven games. Redmond's going in the fantasy team. Little cheeky one for you. Um, Will's score prediction is a Desmond. Oh! 2-2. I, I think that could happen. Could I, be. 
I actually don't mind World's Tips this week. What's the first happened? time ever. First time ever. Probability um, said it had to happen <laughs> one sooner or later. Right, next. Uh, Liverpool versus Leicester. Ooh, 8 pm. Right. I didn't know if I'm, I'm a bit rogue on this or not. But I think you've gone rogue on this. I'm not sure. Anyway, I think you have. So, Liverpool undefeated in the last 32 home games. Class at home. Not too bad. Um, they've scored at least four goals in their last three home matches. They goals, bang goals into the fun, yeah. Leicester have lost three of their last four Prem games. They're such a weird team to call as well. They're, they're erratic as heck as well. Um, there's been over 2.5 goals scored in Liverpool's last four home games. Yeah. Both teams were involved in 4-3 thrillers. True. Last week. True. Liverpool on the winning side of one, and Leicester were on the losing side of one. Yeah, okay. I can so see why you've got this. Both are leaky, Yeah. and both, at right now, maybe not before then, but at the moment, they're both... Based on their last game. Based on their last game. <sighs> you're only as good as your last game. Yeah, true. You know that. Uh, <laughs> both are letting in goals. Yeah, they are. And bear in mind, if you just went for the Liverpool win, there's not much value no, in this game. No, you've so got to look like outside elsewhere. the box. So I've got two two options here. Okay, hit us. The first is my safe option. Liverpool to score in both halves. I, th- I quite like that. 1.73 is quite good value, yeah. I think. And like, they're scoring, and they're scoring loads fun. of goals. Salah's looking menacing. They've scored at least four goals in their last three home yeah, matches. Yeah, good. That is great value. And yeah. they were definitely not all in one half. No, 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 you agree. <laughs> um, the other one is Liverpool to win and both teams to score. You called it last week. I feel like... Leicester, Leicester could nick a goal. Leicester could, I agree. Palace were just scoring goals for fun away from home. That was the only reason I went with it. But... A little Damari Gray, maybe. Yeah, he looked good Does against um, Wolves. Um, so, yeah, that's my other shout. Liverpool to okay. win both teams to score. Good value, though. Good value, 2.85. Remember what we said, take it or leave it. I'm not saying it's definitely coming in, exactly. and I'm not definitely betting on it myself. No chance. Exclaimer. Yeah, little disclaimer. Disclaimer even. Disclaimer, little exclaimer. Point exclaimer, <laughs> whatever you want. Uh, so score prediction? Score prediction is 3-1 to Liverpool. Yeah. I think could. there's definitely lots of goals in this one. Oh, I think for Liverpool, I just, I just don't know. Before that Palace game, they'd only conceded three. Doesn't matter. We'll that see. We'll see. Game, we'll see. Yeah. Okay, last one in the Prem uh, midweek out on the Wednesday night. Spuds versus Watford, 8pm. So Spurs, third, 51 points against Watford are in seventh. Mm. Decent season, 33 points. Again, little exclaimer. I don't know why that word literally. <laughs> I, I said it and I went, that's wrong. That's wrong. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like frog leaped. <laughs> it's like, no, yeah, that's definitely okay. wrong. Yeah. Uh, so little disclaimer, we don't know what happened in the Carabao Cup yeah. or the FA Cup. So just remember that. Um, so Spurs have got loads of injuries. Kane, so many, and they might Ali, never know. They might pick up some more in those games. Yeah, exactly. Everyone's for Son's out. He's at the Asia Cup, yeah. missing quite a few of their star oh, men. Um, won the last uh, league game against Fulham last mm. minute. That is a little confidence booster, isn't it? All they need now is uh, Ericsson to get injured. And yeah, they are, oh, they are strugs. Yeah, strugs. they are strugs. Um, at home, though, they've lost the last two games, Spurs have. Lost mm. against Wolves and Man United. Uh, Wolves are good away, like playing against the old big team. Yeah. Uh, Watford are undefeated in the la- in four mm. away and have beaten West Ham and Palace in that time. And they've scored at least two goals in all of those four games. Okay. Very good away from home. Could be a banana. Three team. of the last four games between these sides have seen both teams to score. I think we called, we said it with Fulham. Uh, against Spurs. We were unlucky with that. I mean, it was a last minute header that killed us. I think this is poten- potential banana skin yeah, as well. Yeah, and Watford are better than Fulham. Yes, agreed. Albeit they're away. Yeah. So they're in good form. They're in good form. And Spurs struggling. Yeah. So, safe tip is both teams to score. Yeah, agreed. Um, 1.64. I don't think it's that great odds, but I think. That will come in. Can't Watford see, are scoring can't goals. Can't see Lorente popping up with any. Mm, true. true. <laughs> maybe, for, maybe for Watford, you might. <laughs> <laughs> true. Yeah. Looks better at the other end. Yeah. But I think the value in this one could have been potential red, I think. Good value. Uh, Watford double chance, 2.15. So I've gone another one all. You could look yeah. through all of our tips and go pick two or three draws out of these. Yeah. I think that's got a potential for draw. 
Um, Spurs lost the last two. Watford looking good away from home. There yeah, you go. that's what I'm going. And for. then before we before we wrap it up, oh. what's your tip of the day? I'm what are you most confident about. I like. I know you've not you've not jumped all over it, but I like Bournemouth double chance against Chelsea. Oh. Two point two three. I called my Liverpool both teams to score against Palace. I'm going Bournemouth double chance. Two point two three against Chelsea because I think Chelsea aren't going to get to the cup final, mm. and I think. They'll be going nose diving, Chelsea. Okay. Right, I've got two. Go on then, hit me. <laughs> My top two are Huddersfield double chance. I like that. Rogue, but I quite like it. that though. And Liverpool to score in both halves. <sighs> okay, I like the Huddersfield double chance. Yeah. Um, so that's it. That's the midweek fixtures. Putting it up early, so don't shoot us because we don't know all the results of the other cup games. Also, let us know what your tips are in the comments. If you yeah. agree with us, if you disagree with us, if I don't know, whatever you want to say, say it in the comments. Are you missing Will? Are you missing Do you like it when not? it's just me and Ollie? He's got quite a lot of fanboys. He's got him. yeah. Will's got quite a few Will fanboys. Tips. Oh, I don't like Ollie and Tom. But I love Will. Whatever. Um, <laughs> yeah, um, but that's it. Um, good luck, and we'll see you again soon. See you later. See you later. Now then, this. Okay, the referee looks at his watch. Any second now.